Hey, hello guys. This is Karthik from ExilAutomation.com. Welcome to Selenium Tidbits. So in this Tidbits, we're going to talk about explicit and implicit weight in Selenium. So there are two types of weighting mechanism in Selenium. One is explicit weight and one is implicit weight. So what is explicit weight? Explicit weight will make your code to wait for certain condition to occur before moving forward. This can be achieved with a combination of web driver weight and expected conditions. So you need to use these two methods combination to perform the explicit weight operation. And web driver weight by default calls expected conditions method to poll by every 500 milliseconds until it returns successfully. So we'll talk about explicit weight in detail while we start working with the code. So what is implicit weight? Implicit weight will make the code to wait for an element to appear in the DOM as like explicit weight. But here implicit weight timeout once set is set for the lifetime of the web driver object instance. Which means once it is set, whatever object you identify further, this timeout will be set for that particular instance of the web driver. Okay. So before confusing this, let's jump into Eclipse and see what I really mean in this slide. Okay, as you can see, this is the same code which we talked in the previous tidbits. So I'm just going to type execute automation in the Google search and I'm going to click this button and then I'm going to click the exit automation link and then I'm going to click the testing framework link in executeautomation.com page. So let's run this test and see what happens. I just made intentionally the internet of my website slow so that you can see the timeout error while you try to click the link. So as you can see here, I'm getting an exception here and it says unable to locate the partial link text execute automation automation testing automator. Right? And I know why the reason is because Currently my internet is very slow, so I need to give somehow some time to wait for my next operation to be performed. So I'm going to wait. So the most commonly used worst way of waiting the page is thread.sleep. So it is completely not recommended while writing your code because it will make your thread to sleep for this particular time, whatever you specify. The whole execution will stop for 5000 milliseconds even if the object is identified, right? So now let me run this test and see how things works. So as you can see, the Firefox is open and it's open in the Google and it's going to type execute automation for me right now. So now you can see that it's waiting for 5,000 milliseconds and then it has clicked the link. So which is great. So right now what happens if your internet is very fast but still your 5000 millisecond waiting will still happen which is completely not recommended and that's why the explicit weight is used. So let me write a method for explicit weight. So you can actually write it as a method or you can directly write here in the code itself. So I usually prefer to write it as a method. So let me write this as public static void explicit weight of I'm gonna pass web driver here as a parameter and then I'm gonna pass a string text here so you'll understand why I'm passing these two parameters for this particular method explicit weight right now uh, in just a minute so then what I'm going to do is I'm going to call the new web driver weight. So remember in the slide as we discussed the explicit weight can be achieved by the combination of web driver weight and expected conditions method. So I'm going to use web driver weight. As you see in this web driver weight the okay let me add the reference for this first. So web driver weight actually sits in the package called org.openqa.selenium.support.ui.webdriver rate right so here the webdriver rate constructor actually accepts two parameters and the one is the instance variable of the driver 
and then the timeout value. So the timeout value right now is 10 here, right? And then there is one more method. So I'm getting an error right now. Maybe we should see what's really happening there. Uh, let me once again type this. Maybe it's the driver weight of. All right, now it's bringing up. Okay, the driver and the timeout dot. There is one more method called until. So in this until we can pass the function. So here the function is nothing but our expected conditions. So here within this expected condition class you have a lot of functions. So I'm going to pass the expected conditions dot and I'm going to verify whether the element is clickable. So the element to be clickable is there or not right and then I'm going to pass the by locator element so by dot I'm going to say link text right and here the link text is going to be the text all right that's it so now as you can see here the explicit weight statement what we're performing here is we're just passing the two variables or two parameters like driver and text and then we're passing the driver instance right into this web driver weight and also we are verifying whether the link text has got this text which we are passing into this method is clickable or not so we are waiting for this particular element is clickable or not for this particular text right so the link should be of this text and it will wait till 10 seconds so this is the timeout value so still it doesn't appear even in after 10 seconds then this method will throw you a timeout exception as you can see here right great so the next thing is we need to pass the value right here instead of thread dot sleep i'm going to call this method right now so explicit weight of the driver that's fine and the text so the text is going to be this guy the execute automations of these 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 things so since we have used partial link text so i think we should use the partial link text here that should be much better all right great so let's try to run this and see whether this really works or not so i'm going to run this and see how things works so it just opened the google website type the automation.com and it clicked the exit automation did you see that it waited for the page the link to appear and once the link appeared then it just clicked there and our site just popped up and then it also clicked the test framework testing framework category which is great so this is what is really expected so this is the purpose of explicit weight statement so then what is the purpose of the implicit weight statement? So let's not waste our time and write a method directly and let's see how things work for that. So public static void and let's name this as implicit weight and then I'm going to pass the web driver driver here just web driver driver that's it. Since this is going to set the timeout for the web driver instance for its whole lifetime of the execution right so the driver dot manage dot timeout dot implicit weight as you can see there is a method called implicit weight and it says how much time you gotta wait to throw the timeout exceptions so I'm gonna say 10 seconds but I have not said that seconds here so there is one more enumerator available called time unit dot you can pass the value here so I'm saying in seconds right great so I'm gonna save this guy and then instead of calling the explicit weight here if I just you know 
comment this thing out and if I call this implicit weight even before all these guys during the navigate itself so let's say I'm going to pass this as implicit weight of the driver that's it so this is the timeout now if I run this test let me close this window it will run fine since it will set the whole driver instance to wait for an object to appear up to 10 seconds so this is the this is going to be the timeout for the implicit wait so let me run this test and see how things works so just open the website and all right type exit automation and click the link and it's perfectly working as expected and that's the power of implicit wait all right guys thank you very much for watching this video and we'll discuss more tidbits in upcoming videos of this video series thank you very much have a great day